let's learn about the band theory of solids okay let's just say i have two hydrogen atoms okay these hydrogen atoms are at this moment very far from each other okay so this is your nuclei and your electron is orbiting around your nucleus okay so you have two hydrogen atoms and we know hydrogen atom is having a single electron so it's going to be one s energy level in which your electron would be orbiting around the nuclei okay so electron in this guy would be orbiting around the nucleus for this one at a one s level and similarly for the other hydrogen atom as well okay you already must be knowing that there are well defined energy levels that an electron can take okay so you have energy levels like 1s 2s 2p 3s and so on so within your 2p also you have your three sub levels okay 2p basically corresponds to what it corresponds to n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 okay so whenever you have l is equal to whatever you are going to have 2l plus 1 sub levels in that energy level okay so over here your l is equal to 1 so you have 2 into 1 plus 1 three sub levels within 2p okay and our electrons are filled up from top to bottom fashion okay from the lowest energy level to the highest energy level over here since we have only one electron it's going to take up the 1s energy level okay now when these electrons are very far away they have their own 1s energy level in which they are going to be orbiting okay however when these atoms are brought closer together okay so when this happens when the distance between their nuclei is comparable to the size of the atom then interesting things happen okay then you have two possibilities okay your electron orbitals they overlap when your atoms come together okay when they start to make bonds so over here my two possibilities are something like this you may have a possibility where this is the case okay you have your nuclei over here and this is your electronic orbitals so your electrons are now orbiting around both of these nuclei and the probability of finding an electron is higher in these regions okay the other possibility is something like this in this case the possibility of finding an electron is higher in this region between the two nucleus okay so when your electron is over here between the two nucleus then obviously it is being affected by both the nucleus and it's going to be more stable okay a more stable configuration corresponds to a lesser energy configuration okay so in this case your electron is having a lesser energy okay while in the other case where there is no possibility of finding an electron in the region between the two nuclei you have a higher energy okay so what you are seeing is when two hydrogen atoms they form a molecule or they interact and come close together your 1s energy level basically splits into two energy levels one is a higher energy level and the other is the lower energy level we are talking about higher and lower as compared to the 1s energy level okay so your higher energy level which you have seen over here this corresponds to an anti bonding orbital okay your lower energy configuration corresponds to your bonding orbital okay so just see what is happening you have your one s energy level okay when your atoms are far apart 